Hello everyone, I'm Pastor Susan, the family pastor at Cornerstone, and we're so glad that you are joining us this morning. We'd like to share with you what's going on this week. Pastor Ben will be starting an online Bible study Thursday via Zoom. This is a private group, so you don't have to worry about getting hacked. Next, the youth had their first meeting via Zoom last Wednesday, and we look forward to more joining us next week. It starts at 6.30. And Laura has started a private um, page on Facebook for the needs of commun Cornerstone Community Church. That meaning, if something's going on, we had one who just said, hey, I need some onions, and guess what? The family of Cornerstone got together and made sure they had onions. And it is the fact that, too, um, we're there for one another. And if you even just want to talk, we've had conversations there. We're still the body of Christ, and we're all parts working together. And for that, we are so grateful. And we're also grateful for all of those in our community. And we're going to take a moment right now to pray for them. Please join us. Father God, I just come to you. I come to you in just thanksgiving for all those you have placed around us who have given their lives to just serve. We have those in the hospitals, in the doctor's office, in all the medical fields right now that are reaching out to those who are sick and ill at no thought of their own personal safety. We have our firemen and our policemen we have the garbage collectors, um, just so many. Our teachers who are having to, and administrators of schools who are having to come up with plans that will help us continue to make contact with our children at home and our teenagers so they can continue their education. We are so blessed to have them. And Lord, we ask that you just keep them safe and that you bless them. We also want to pray, just like your word tells us to, for those in leadership in our nation, in our world, and in our communities. They are facing challenges that have never been faced by anyone else before. And God, I ask that you give them wisdom, that you give them discernment, and that they, you guide them in the decisions that they are making that there will be things that prosper our country and that will bring good to it. And we pray for all of our missionaries that are overseas. This is a time when they are separated even more so from their families over here in the United States. God, we ask that you keep them safe, that they continue to just reach, rely on you for their provisions, and for us, as we still give to them, that they rely on you for their strength and for their faith, that it may grow stronger at this time, and that the people that they are ministering to, reaching out to, will see them being a light within the darkness. And God, that it will bring much glory to you. I am so thankful, God, that nothing comes as a surprise to you. I am so grateful that you are there in every circumstance, in every hospital room, in every place, every home, that your presence can bring, bring that light into the darkness that's trying to overtake us. And we know, God, that it is working. We know because we see people reaching out. We see people loving and sharing and giving. We see people encouraging one another. God, what a true gift. May you bless all that hear this. May you bless all the pastors worldwide who are coming together with their congregations. We thank you, God, in Jesus' name, amen.